Hello Shopify users, if you're interested in showing YouTube videos in Dawn theme image with text section like this, please stick around and I will show you how you can achieve this. So this video is going to be an extension of the last video I did. If you haven't watched that video, please go watch that. It's this one right here, how to add video with text, Dawn theme. In this video, I'm going to building on top of that. So let's get into it. So as I emphasize every time, create a backup of your theme before you do any modifications. And uh, after that, you're gonna go into code. You know, go into sections and then there is image with text file that we were working on in the last video. Before I get into coding, I wanted to quickly mention something from the last video. I did leave a comment on that video, but in case you didn't see right around here, I might have added two extra brackets like this so if you are seeing that these should be two brackets your video still might be showing um, but I advise you to fix this this should be just two brackets and uh, now let's um, move on to this video coding and in here you're gonna go all the way down to the settings so right above this video URL setting I am going to add one more setting Again, make sure commas and brackets are right. This is the setting I added. Save. And let's take a look at customize section. We should see uh, another video URL setting up here for YouTube. So there it is right here as a default URL in there. And uh, you could of course you can overwrite that with whatever you want. So go back to the code, same file. And what you are going to do is right around here where you see this LSIP video URL, hit enter, and then you are going to add some piece of code. And that is this. Okay right here so this is what I added and um, after this we are going to move on to round line 18 and right here where you see this grid right before this grid I am going to enter more code And it is this right here. And next, move on to line 20. So around here, we had added a class in the prior video, this one. And right after this, I am going to paste a bit more code. And that is this right here all right and then save this file next i'm going to go into the css file so go into the assets and then you're going to look for image with text component right here component image with text css and here i'm going to paste some code this is the new code this is what we had added in the other videos. So this is extra CSS here. And now save this. All right, all this code added, let's take a look at what we are seeing on our site. All right, there you go. We have a YouTube video showing. And this should same way work on other screen sizes this is good all right so 
If you saw the last video, I had added some settings related to attributes like loop, autoplay, all that. So those work fine if it's your video that you hosted on um, Shopify. But if it's on YouTube, there's a lot more restrictions and it doesn't work consistently across different devices, browsers. So I, at least for autoplay, if you want to try it out, it works on desktop. And if you want to do that, what you could do is add a couple of more attributes to the end of the URL. And what that is in here, where we had added this code for the YouTube at the end of this, right here where you see this, you're going to add this. So with this, your video, at least on desktop, should autoplay. So I'm not adding settings for it like I did with the other video because this is not really all that consistent. So if that's something that you want to do. And of course, your if you want to autoplay, it'll play on desktop, but I don't think it will play on uh, mobile devices and still it has to be muted. So this is something if you want it, you can give it a try. One last thing I want to mention is that uh, when you are using this YouTube video or you're using your image or you're using a video uh, that you have on uh, any CDN or um, just Shopify, just make sure to get rid of the other settings. Like if you're using image, just have that and just delete these other links and these settings related to rest of the stuff that we did. I could do this and force this with code, but then the video is going to get all uh, complicated. And I always try to give you guys minimal coding that is required to achieve these things. So that is it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video.